Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to talk about using stable diffusion images to create AI animation videos using Pika Lab. And recently, Pika Lab latest new update features that are able to generate AI videos with command prompt to control camera motions. Now, as I can see, some other channels are using Leonardo AI with Pika Lab to create storytelling videos. But I'm more interested to experiment dancing videos with a character. From the beginning of these videos, I'm using Nancy's photos and transform into movement AI video in Pika Lab. So let's generate images together in this tutorial and try it from scratch. I am going to use realistic visions checkpoints to create character looks like a dancing pose here. And I want to make some changes here to make more colorful clothing so the video will look nicer. I'm going set 6 in batch size and uh, to hit generate and have few AI images for demo purpose. So right now we have few images here and we will pick some of the good pose images and bring it to Pika Lab. For stable diffusion batch generation, you can find images in output folders if you have set save images after generate in your setting. So right now, we come to Pika Lab. As you can see, their latest new feature release. They have prompts to control camera motions like zoom in or out or camera pending left, right, up, down. So we are going to use this new features for dancing motions video. As you can see, I have tests some of the Nancy's photos in here previously. Some are good and some are not good. And if you see the videos are not quite what you expect, you can always hit the regenerate button under the video's player to regenerate and another video is based on the image and prompt you uploaded. So by doing this, I'm going to use our generate images. I'm going to pick few of the dancing pose from what we just generated in stable diffusion. Then you're going to click the prompt option and type some simple prompts here. So usually I am just typing the action that the image are doing and type the camera motion prompts after that. Then we hit enter and wait for the AI videos generate. I am going to fast forward the video here and do a few more. Okay, so after done, generate videos here, and I am going to pick some of the good one, and let's see the result. Okay, so there you have, this is a very simple and easy method to create AI animation videos by using stable diffusions, images, and Pika Lab, and we leverage the new features in Pika Lab to create motion videos like this. I hope this video do inspire you to create something new, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a nice day.